another episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast coming at you live, baby. And today we got a special edition of the podcast with the one, the only jo Jason Cope. Jason <laughs> Cope, that is. And uh, we're not smoking the hope dope when you're rolling with Cope, because I'll tell you what, this guy is dope. And I just made that up on the wow. spot. So don't expect, <laughs> don't, don't expect <laughs> anything else to come out. Everything beyond this is going to go downhill, I promise you. But uh, I can tell you, we're going to have a very special interview with Jason today. Uh, he's uh, Brett, he's pretty new to the business. Uh, he'll tell you a bit of his story in a moment, but he's very, very new in the business. And uh, for those of you who are newbies, you're definitely going to want to tune in and turn up the volume on this because he's got a very remarkable story. He started pretty much from scratch. I mean, very much ground up and he was struggling and he was striving and he was scrapping for deals. And uh, he came to a place where he worked all that he could doing it the hard way. And he got to the point where it's like, okay, this is not working. We got to figure a better way to do this. He got with us and things just exploded. So we're going to be talking about a real um, breakthrough in not just his revenue, not just his income, but his an experience day to day and how he's operating his life, how he's operating his business. And so for those of you who would like to learn how Jason Cope went from almost zero to a million dollars plus per month within two months, you definitely want to tune in to this episode. So without further ado, Jason, thanks for hanging with us today, brother. Yes, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, it's great to have you, man. And I'm um, really excited to unveil your story and learn more about what happened and where you're at before we got, you know, with the coaching and what happened during. And then, of course, what's happened in the short amount of months we've been hanging together. But yep. before we get into that, why don't we just uh, unpack a little bit about you and who you are, um, where you reside, how long you've been in the mortgage business and a little bit of, uh, you know, also, why why did you get in the mortgage business? How long you've been in the mortgage? Yeah, that's business? a million dollar question, right? For everybody, right. God, why why do we do this to ourselves? Exactly. <laughs> Talk about self infliction. So why don't we start there? Yeah. So um, yeah, I mean, so born and raised in Southern California, um, was here my whole life, all the way through college. Um, basically, how I got my my start right out of college. I graduated in two thousand nine, which, as we know. Graduating in 2009 was not fun to, to get a job. So I graduated with a business admin degree down in San Diego, looking around where all the business admin jobs have absolutely no clue. So what do I do? Um, and luckily, I grew up with actually the owner of the company I work with now, New American Funding, based in, uh, in Tustin, California, uh, which is near Newport, Costa Mesa area. Um, and so they, they set me up with a marketing gig being 21, 22, fresh out of college with a business admin degree, honestly didn't really know what I wanted to do or, or how I was going to do it. Um, so like a lot of us do here in Southern California, I went gallivanting around Europe for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> and then when I came back, you know, people have been telling me like, Hey, you got a business admin degree. You know, you're, you're not a, you're not a CPA. You're not an engineer. You don't have a specific track to follow, but what you do have is a personality. You can get out, you can be in front of people. So, Go do sales. Um, and so I said, okay, hey, let's let's give it a shot. Everybody keeps telling me I can do it, so let's do it. Um, and I got a job at a commercial real estate firm. So I was doing retail investment sales in commercial real estate, which we'll get into a little bit. I think I learned a lot of bad habits there versus what we're doing now, which is what you helped me focus on. Um, so I was doing that for about five years. And then after, you know, the the big thing for me from, from going from commercial to now back into mortgage sales was the velocity. You know, you're, you're, you're stretching, you're reaching for a few good solid deals a year in commercial. And don't get me wrong, the pay, the pay is great when you get paid. Um, you usually basically get a year salary in, in, in one go if, if, you know, if you're good. Um, but to me, I wanted to kind of avoid the, the peaks and valleys a little bit. Um, and I wanted to be out more face to face because I think I, I thrive a little bit more in that environment versus commercial where it was, here's a desk, here's a phone, don't pick your head up, go. Um, versus this industry where you got to get in front of people. You know, I, I started doing a, a monthly uh, golfing event with realtors. It's awesome. It's mostly just guys hitting balls and then going out for beers afterwards. So you know that kind of stuff. I'm I'm much more into than uh, than just slugging away on the phone for eight hours a day. 
So how long have you been in the game now? By the way, we're getting a little reverb, so if you can turn down your volume a little bit on your feedback, um, on your speakers, that'll help with the reverb. Hopefully um, you can still hear me. That's better, uh, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, even if you can dial it just a tad more, the reverb is still noticeable. But uh, much better now. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, so I've been in the game back, well, really only on the sales side of things, because like I said, before when I started, I was just doing marketing, and it was mostly just like, direct mailers and just basically just a job. That's all. It was a job where I got paid hourly and that was that. So on the sales side of things, I've been doing it a year and a month, year and a month. Okay. So yeah, you're, you're fresh 13 months in the game. And uh, most people in this game, they're told that, Hey, if, you know, you got to be in this game for three to five years plus before you're going to make any real money. So people get this flawed expectation and erroneous belief that it's going to, take slugging through the mud with concrete and blocks on your feet for eons before you make any decent money. And certainly that was the beginning of your journey. Um, so tell yeah. us about that. Tell us about what it was like for the first, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that, that was really, like I said earlier with the, the kind of the bad habits. So how I used to break down my day was give me an Excel spreadsheet, put as many names and numbers on there as you can. I don't care where they're from. I'm going to call every single person on the sheet. And that, like, like I said, I mean, I don't have any problems cold calling. You know, maybe I did my first six months of commercial, but if you're not, if you're not doing that, you're not making money. So to me, I was like, cool, just give me as many names as you can. I'll either do a refinance, a cash out. Don't really know what that means yet, but I'll do it. Um, <laughs> and so that was that was my day. Really, was just trying to get as many names and numbers as I could um, from other people's databases or anybody in the office that was willing to let me farm through their old stuff. And like, I mean, that was just, you're just slugging through the mud. I mean, that's, mm -hmm. you know, not that you can't make it, you know, make a buck doing that, but that's all you're going to make is a buck versus yeah. doing things smarter rather than harder. That's definitely doing it the hard way. There's no doubt about it. And while cold calling does work, it is very much the shotgun approach. It's a slugging through the mud and it's most definitely doing it the hard way. But most of us don't know any different until we know something different. Right. So tell us about, what the impact of that was, uh, you know, before you met with us, what was it looking like in terms of uh, cash flow, in terms of uh, closings per month? Tell cash us about flow. tell us about <laughs> what that was like before you got with us, just to get it. Yeah, you so get the I mean, place. it felt a little bit, you know, I'm I'm just the the chicken with my head cut off, just grasping at straws for any deal that came my way, any realtor that I could get in touch with. Didn't care how many deals they had, you know, how much production they had the past year. It's, it's, oh, you're a realtor, you're licensed. Uh, we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that, and that was just, you know, it's just, it's exhausting, absolutely exhausting doing that because, you know, you're hit with so much rejection. And we all know in this business, you still get a lot of rejection. That's just the name of the game. But, um, but yeah, I mean, doing it that way just, just beats you down mentally. Beat you down hard. <laughs> Doesn't feel good at all. And yeah, then you know, in terms, to finish your question, in terms of production, you know, we're talking like 300k or 400k a month. Like, and that's again, that's that's grasping at straws. And then on top of that, because it's other people's databases, I'm I'm giving away 50% of whatever I whatever I make. Oh so, wow! So instead yeah. of making three G's a pop, you're making maybe 1500. Exactly. So. You're not even leveraging your own self-sourced leads. You're leveraging someone else's database. Right. Right. And so don't get me wrong. I'm still, I'm still, you know, I still want to go through other people's database because, you know, only a year in, I don't, I still don't have that, that, you know, good sure. database to, to go farm through. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's just, you, you just got to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> right. So, so like you said, you'll take anyone with a pulse who could fog a mirror, any realtor, any client, uh, even if you get half of the, the percentage, you know, 50% of the, the commissions, who cares? You're just grasping for straws. You'll take anything just to yep. kind of keep yourself afloat. And this is unfortunately uh, the common experience for most mortgage loan officers out there. They're grasping for straws. They're busting their hump, putting in the time, putting in the energy, making the calls, and they'll take anything that comes their way. And it's really a life of desperation. And I'm sure you can concur with that. So mm -hmm. what was, I mean, for you, if you were to pinpoint it to maybe one, two or three things, based on your experience, what would you say sucked the most about doing it the hard way, the way you were doing it? If you were to pinpoint it to one, two or three things? Um, 
honestly, like what I just mentioned, the, the, every deal that I was doing was almost exclusively from somebody else's database. So, you know, you got to get that experience and you got to, you know, you got to do it somehow. So you got to get those deals from somewhere. But mm -hmm. I kind of got bogged down in, you know, that old mindset of mine. Like if I just call a hundred of these people every single day, you know, like in the old days, it wasn't, I would do 60 calls a day, like without blinking. Like that was just, mm -hmm. that was my day, you know? Um, and you do all this work and you, you get all this stuff done. And then all of a sudden half your commission is, is gone. And yeah, it just, on top of that, you know, you come home with a frowny face because you got 98 rejections and two maybes at the end of the day. And it's just, it's brutal. It's just brutal on you, you know, versus, uh, you know, what this program has taught me a lot, which a favorite quote that you've ever said is praise progress, not perfection. And I, I love that that mindset of getting getting into that changes everything change just on a dime pivots pivots everything that i've that i've done so let's talk about that let's let's talk about the transition phase obviously you got to the point where you're just done doing it the hard way you're done grinding it out busting your hump making all these calls and getting such a small uh you know return on your time and energy and obviously you had the ambition, you had the drive, you had the resolve that you're going to win, but you just didn't have the formula. You didn't have the plan. Mm -hmm. what, what happened that had you step up and commit to working with us? Because obviously we don't work with anybody. We don't work with the interested. They always find an excuse. We work with the committed. They always find a way. And so what, what was the single biggest reason that you decided to step up and commit to your breakthrough with us? Honestly, your stuff, uh, the, the biggest thing of the program, like, mind you, you get all these cool marketing tools and, and you know, the um, schedule and just breaking everything down. But for me, the biggest thing was mindset. And the biggest thing was learning how to, again, praise progress, not perfection, how to build off of, um, you know, your earlier successes, what whatever it is, and that kind of stuff that just keeps you going. And, and uh, also your your why. Why are you doing what you're doing? You know, when I was living in LA and I was single, I want to party. That's why I'm in commercial real estate. It's it's fun and I get paid well and that's it. You know, whereas now uh, I kind of, you know, you think a little bit more introspectively thanks to your program. And then I realize, you know, I, I come from a great little corner of the world here in Southern California. I've had, you know, two two parents that love me and have supported me. Um, now I have a fiance. So it's, it's like, oh, okay, well, now I want to be able to share my success and thank these people that have gotten me to this point and continue to, to um, you know, support me through my life. And so when I get down or when I'm like, oh, man, that was a crappy meeting, crappy call, whatever. All right. Take a step back. Where were you a year ago? Where are you now? Why are you doing what you're doing? And that has really, really helped me shape my business a little bit more. And again, it's not it's not where I want it to be. I still got goals to go bigger, bigger and better. Um, but, uh, but just thinking about where I was to now has just changed, has changed everything. Awesome. Now, obviously stepping up with us and rolling with, uh, a champion level coaching program, like what we bring to the table was a stretch. I mean, it's, it's a, a champion level investment that is oh, yeah. really in, inextricably, inextricably linked with champion level resolve, champion level commitment that gets you a champion level result. So tell us about you jumping over that precipice and uh, walking across that uh, that bridge of faith or that bridge of fear, depending on how you experienced it, uh, such that you just decided, screw it, let's freaking do it. And you jumped in full force. What, tell us about that. that, quote, that I got that quote written down too. Screw it, let's do it, man. Um, yeah, you know, it, it just, it came, it, it came to a point in my life where, you know, I, I had to sit down with with my fiance or my girlfriend at the time. I'm just like, I'm thinking about switching careers. I'm, I'm not happy at all. Um, I need to do something different. So I did that. And then all of a sudden this isn't working out quite the way I had it, you know, played out in my mind. But then, you know, join your program. We're talking about we're talking about goals. We're talking about what it's going to take to get there. And so much of that is in your mind. Um, and I think. Um, I think that's really what what got me to invest the money that, hey, I'm scared to make this investment. But when I do, hey, I burn the boats. There's no looking back and we're going to do this. You know, Dorn, Dorn's the guy with the tools. Um, you know, Dorn's the guy to give me that confidence to do it. I think that's a huge part of 
uh, you know, why, why I want to do this after speaking with you a few times, you know, you speak with my branch manager a lot and just being in those conversations, the kind of high level thoughts that are going on when a lot of business isn't really about business. It's about how you perceive your business and how you're going to take your business to the next stage. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So you kind of got a little bit, a bit of a inside I got a taste. Peak. Yeah. <laughs> you get a little inside peek because I'm, I'm working with your branch manager, uh, Brenda Delenda, you know, top producer for years, broke her company record for most amount of loans in one month, 53 in one freaking month. I mean, she's, she's a phenom, but we took her from modest beginnings. She was doing 10 to 14 loans a month when we started. So, um, mm. you know, most people, they would dream just for 10 to 14. Now she's slaying 53 oh, yeah. in one month. I mean, that's that's the kind of next level results you can get when you align yourself with the right mentorship. So you got a little bit of a taste, a little sneak peek, uh, sitting in on those meetings, and obviously you're like, man, I need more, and I need to step up my game, and I can't yep. afford to stay average. If I want to be a champion, I can't afford to think like a chump and do chump level routines. So you stepped up, and now uh, we're three months um, in the future now from the time you you decided to pull the trigger and invest in yourself. Tell us how things have changed since then. Tell us about how life is different, how your business is different. Paint the picture for us. Yeah, so I mean, business wise, booking a lot more meetings and staying focused on what's most important. That that to me, again, was another huge, huge problem where, uh, as I mentioned, have a, let's just say I have 100 names. My, my old thought process was I'm calling all 100. Now it's, let me look at these hundred names, which ones have a ton of equity, which ones have super high interest rates that we might be able to fix. All right, let me, out of these hundred, really only 10 of them are important. So you let the cream rise to the top mm -hmm. and you take care of those and the rest get to you when you get to, but you got to focus on, on what's most important. And then on top of that, you know, it's, it's the realtors. Cause before I got lost, I got lost in digging through databases, you know, in a, in a market like right now here in Southern California, where we're not exactly in a refinance market, you know, it's, you, you got to have purchase where do purchases come from. They come from realtors. Um, and so getting hyper focused on my realtors has been a big change for me. I've been booking more meetings, uh, having more successful meetings, not just to show up and throw up everything that we have to offer. It's, it's much more of a structured, you know, one, two, three meeting from, you know, from the call or text or however you get a hold of them. First one is just a discovery. Let's just talk about our business. And, you know, it's funny, I actually tell them every realtor I meet with now, you know, this is a, this is a business where you get in where you can fit in. You know, if I don't like you and you don't like me, we're not going to do business together. It's as simple as that. You know, you have somebody that you don't like and they're calling you, what do you do? You just put your phone away and like, oh, I don't want to talk to that guy. So I tell them, I'll be the first one to tell you, you know, if, if, if we don't get along or, you know, we're not vibing together, then, you know, we'll go our separate ways and continue on. Um, but, uh, but on top of that, again, bigger thing for me, uh, personally, I mean, just the, having the mindset doing like the, almost like the Tony Robbins type stuff, which I used to just always poo poo away. But, um, I think that, that's really changed not just my business, but my, my life personally, my relationships with my parents, with my friends, with my fiance, all that. It's just a much more positive outlook. No matter what else is going on, there's always something positive about your situation. Wow. So I've heard a golden thread so far. Uh, you've got this shift in perspective that has you praising progress, seeking progress, not perfection. Uh, that's getting you vibrating on a level of positivity and positive expectation and gratitude as opposed to what's not working and what sucks and what's not enough and lack and limitation and scarcity. So obviously that's, uh, you know, I'm assuming that's made a pretty significant difference in how you feel day to day. Is that accurate? Oh, oh man, I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's not, it's not a pain getting out of bed to go make 100 calls now. Now it's like, oh, sweet. I got these two meetings with awesome realtors. Got one today actually in a couple hours and it's just great. You know, and, and hey, it's still hard. It's still, you know, there's going to be bumps in the road, sure. But, you know, every everything's, a, you know, you're learning at every stage now. Now, every meeting I go to, it's like, oh, well, I could have done this better or that better or I should have asked this question. And everything is just building. One of my affirmations, I'm building every single day. Every day it's yes. getting better. <laughs> Every day and every way, you're getting better and better, stronger and stronger, healthier and healthier, richer and richer, baby. That's just how we roll. <laughs> That's how champions roll. So, and gone are the days of the uh, you know shotgun approach. 
smiling and dialing, calling 100 people a day or 60 people a day, just throwing yoga to the fan, hoping something sticks. Now you have more of a sniper approach. Uh, tell us more about that in terms of, you know, not only how how much more fruitful it is, but, um, you know, how it, how it is day to day when you're doing the sniper approach versus the blanket, you know, show up and throw up data dump to anybody who with a whole circuit fog of mirror doing the shotgun approach. Yeah. So I think the biggest thing with that is the fact that I'm a little bit more amped up for calls now because I know there's something there that I can mm -hmm. latch on to or that I can get them to, to give me, or I know that I can get a meeting because you know what I mean? Versus here's a list of what, whatever it is. And I'm just hoping that one of these people might have a reaction to me. Now it's like, well, out of these hundred, I know these 10 will want to hear whatever it is. Or, you know, out of these 20 realtors that I met at a event, like here's a conversation I had, let's focus on the ones that I had a good conversation with versus the ones that we just exchanged cards and, you know, we're right. maybe right. cross paths again. Yeah, so, so it's, it's, all, you know, just, it's all about picking that low hanging fruit. And so often we forget that we can actually have that choice to choose to pick it to low hanging fruit. We kind of fall into this erroneous misconception that you get brownie points for doing it the hard way. You know, you get brownie points at the bank when you're withdrawing your money because you did it the hard way. And obviously <laughs> that's not the case. There's no brownie points at the bank for doing it the hard way, for putting in more time, more energy, more effort, more stress, more frustration, more lost sleep for yeah, the same and or less result. So Something else with that too that, that you, you got me on, which I was so reluctant to do, was pay for some sort of CRM or automation. And after doing that, my day has become, I mean, I probably have an extra three to four hours a day now where before I was like, oh, let me, let me follow up on this lead that hasn't gotten back to me in eight weeks. Maybe this is the call, you know? And that was always how I thought, like, oh, this time they'll answer, you know? Versus <laughs> now, you know, put them in the automation, forget about it. If they get to me, great. If they don't, I now have three to four hours to call realtors, which again is where most of my business is going to be coming from. Absolutely. So it's getting the trivial many out of your hair so you can focus on the vital few, right? Exactly. And you want to dial up your income. You want to dial up your productivity. You want to dial up how much you earn without putting in more hours. It's all about becoming more productive with the time we're putting in. So tell us about what you've accomplished in these two to three short months in terms of the impact all this has made on your income, your deal flow, your pipeline, et cetera? So yes, pi pipeline number one has been the biggest, the biggest change because now I can get a hold of people that wanna, want me to reach out to them, you know, like you said, the, the vital few. So now all of a sudden my pipeline went from being like, ooh, maybe these 10 people wanna do something in the future to these guys are definitely buying in the next two to three months, stay on them, and fill up the pipeline with those sorts of people. And then, like I said before, I mean, I was doing maybe one deal of three to 400K a month um, in somebody else's database. And Making now, half the commissions. Yeah, getting half the commissions. Yeah, and then, whereas now, like right, like right now, I have, a, I have a category that's my um, my shoppers, my offers, and my escrows, right? So usually that was like one a month. Now, I have, right now I have seven that are ready to go and six, Five, five of those seven are from me and, and my realtors and they're at higher purchase prices. So, you know, it makes me think like, why didn't I just do this, you know, <laughs> four months ago? Um, you don't know what you don't know. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, as I mentioned before, you know, I'm, I'm not where I want to be yet. You know, cool if I'm doing a million now, I want to be doing five, 10 million a month. You know, that's, that sounds like more fun. So, and now that we have, you know, now that I have the tools and most importantly, the confidence to, to do it and the, you know, the right direction, I don't think that there's, uh, you know, any limit to, to what I can earn. Well, trust me, once you, get, once you get to 10 million, once you get to 20 million, there'll always be that next level. All fulfillment, all joy, all of the juice is in the progress, not in the achievement, but the progress. And so you went from 200K uh, 300K in loans a month, kind of willy nilly, doing it the hard way, spinning your wheels, and you bumped up to a million 
and you got a fuller pipeline and you got solid partners and your average commission per deal has gone way up and you're actually making full commission instead of half commission. Yeah. So praise the progress, man. I mean, that's huge. Yeah. About that. I love um, it. I mean, dude, it's been less than, it's been like three months and a lot of those breakthroughs happened a month ago. So it was like yeah. two to three months. And I mean, who would have thought that you could create that kind of avalanche of awesomeness and create that kind of a breakthrough within two to three months? I didn't. My mom kept telling me I could, but I didn't believe her until until now. So <laughs> right, it sounds like you got the right mama, man. Blessed and highly flavored and favored to have a mama who believes in you and speaks life in you and and affirms that hey, you can do it. I mean, a lot of people they don't have that, but at the end of the day, we got to own it for ourselves. People can tell yeah. you you got what it takes all day long, but until and unless we look at ourselves in our own mirror and say you're a winner, you're a champion, you're a warrior, you're a dream achiever, you're a goal crusher, you got this. None of the stuff people tell us really amounts to hill of beans until we own it for ourselves. And it sounds mm -hmm. to me like something happened along the way in the last two to three months that had you own that for yourself. What do you think it was? Uh, honestly, a lot of it came down to self-investment, like, you know, reading, reading books or, or doing more positive things with my time versus, you know, binge watching Netflix for, you know, four hours a night. But when I get home, which, you know, easily can still do that. But, you know, I started, you know, reading like the Zig Ziglar or Tony Robbins, you know, I do 10 minutes of meditation every night now, visualization, all that kind of stuff where, you know, when you get, when you get into business, when you get into sales, you don't think it's important at all. But at the end of the day, that's, that's everything. Um, so I think, you know, a big turning point and thank God I have a, a fiance who's, who's a big time yogi. I can't tell you how many Buddha heads and crystals are around this, around this apartment. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, all that kind of stuff where you're, you're just taking a minute for yourself and you're believing in yourself really changes everything in your life. Yeah, and it sounds to me like you leveled up your routine. You know, people have lofty hopes, lofty goals. They have champion level ambitions, but they got chump level routines and they wonder why there's per perennial and perpetual frustration and they're mm -hmm. chasing their tails and they never seem to get ahead because they're reaching for higher ground and their hopes but they're not reaching for higher ground in their day-to-day -day routines. They're settling for second best in their daily routine. And that's why they settle for second best in their bank account. So uh, I'm, I'm super proud of, you know, the fact that you're defiantly committed to the point where you're just willing to do whatever freaking takes to level up and you're willing to do the work and you're doing the success conditioning routine. You're doing the mindset uh, development routine. You're doing the, the pipeline development routine with your daily action steps in the office. And that's why you're seeing the success, man. So I'm super, super happy. And I know we ain't done. We've just begun oh, just scratching never, the surface of the surface. Done. Absolutely. <laughs> so there's no doubt in my mind, you're a hundred million dollar plus player. And it's just a matter of your bank account and your pipeline catching up with you. I love it. So what, what would you say uh, as we wrap up, Jason, is uh, the juiciest, most meaningful, most uh, life enhancing benefit of you investing in yourself uh, and getting to work and implementing our proven formula over the last two to three months? Um, I mean, like I said, make sure that you you take time in your day to to allow yourself, you know, like I said, the, the meditation or if it's like educating yourself on new programs, that kind of stuff. It's just, it's education, but it's either, you know, like either memorizing new programs or you're taking time to allow yourself to be successful, really. Um, and I think that, like you just said, it all, it all comes down to routine. I used to be like, okay, oh, we have this meeting about some program that might be beneficial for some, but like one yesterday was for doctors. So now it's like, well, now the wheels start turning. It's like, well, do I know any doctor friends? Do I have any nurse friends? Uh, oh, well, my veterinarian would qualify for this loan. So why don't I go drop off some flyers over there? Um, it's all stuff that you just need to, you just don't just wait to get home at 7 p.m. and then turn on Netflix. You know, like you need to, you need to really invest in yourself. Absolutely. And that's certainly what you've done. That's why you're seeing the results and the fruits of your efforts. I'd love to hear from you before we wrap up, Jason. Now that you've had three months of really investing in yourself and do the th doing the things most people aren't willing to do so you can get the results most people don't get, what would you say is the best part about you leveling up at the level you have? I mean, you've come from two to three 
hundred thousand a month, willy nilly, uh, haphazard approach, grinding it out to a whole new way of life, a whole new way of div- doing business, a whole new perspective on life. Um, if you were to cherry pick one thing, Jason, just one thing that to you is the most meaningful benefit of you stepping up the way you did that's changed your life uh, in the most meaningful, beneficial way, what would you say it is? I'd say it's my my relationships with my with my loved ones. Like I said, my fiance and my, I don't have to come home slugging my feet every day, you know? Mm-hmm. Not that I was too much, but <laughs> uh, now I can come home and we can talk about whatever we want to talk about and we can do it in a positive way. Not, I come home and, oh, I hate my job. Oh, I'm so tired now. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And now it's like, Hey, let's go to music in the park. Like I had a, I had a really solid day, met two realtors and maybe I'll meet a few more there. You know, you never know. But, um, you know, same thing with, with my parents, with my friends, everything. It's just, there's just more positivity because I'm, mm-hmm. I'm a pretty sarcastic guy a lot of the time. Um, mm-hmm. and I just, I've, sl- it's slowly just kind of, you know, that's just kind of gone, you know, unless I'm around a bunch of sarcastic people. So, <laughs> <laughs> Well, n- now now you can keep that sarcasm alive, but you actually uh, are, are are instead of just using it as a way to cope with and uh, no pun intended on the cope nice. by the way, yeah, to, I to, heard that to, to cope with the underlying dissatisfaction in your life, you can do it coming from a place that you're actually enjoying life and mm-hmm. you're celebrating life and you're happy with life. That's a very different place to enter into sarcasm, sarcasm yep. from, right? Uh, so, what's interesting about you highlighting the difference that's made in your relationships as the single biggest, most meaningful benefit of you investing in yourself with our coaching and with our marketing systems uh, is that, you know, most people would probably think, you know, the best part is he's making, you know, like five times more money and, or he's saving all this time doing it the hard way, self-inflicting himself with the hell of cold calling or, you know, people would probably presuppose or, or think that the the best benefit is you, just, you got more money more money in your bank account. But it's interesting that once you get more money in the bank account and, and things are more comfortably more comfortable financially, and bills are paid, it's actually not the finances necessarily. Although you know when you've come from nothing and you've struggled, certainly not struggling is a huge benefit. Yeah. But it, it's how you show up in life with your shoulders back, your chin up, a positive mm-hmm. countenance a positive expectation for life. You, you jump out of bed instead of scraping your ass out of bed with a spatula. You got yeah. pep in your step. You got sparkle in your eye. You know, you got this energy that is like, let's be real. The reason why we want more money at the end of the day is because we want to feel good. We want to feel freedom. We want to feel happy. We want to feel joy. We want to feel, uh, you know, good. We want to feel good. And that's really what I'm hearing uh, in your story, Jason, is at the end of the day, you're feeling better about yourself. You're feeling better about your relationships. You're feeling better about your career. You're feeling better about the trajectory of where you're going and all that mm-hmm. ripple effects into you showing up differently with your loved ones, uh, giving and receiving love, your leadership of yourself and others obviously has been elevated and impacted at a higher level. So um, keep up the great work, man. Obviously, uh, like I said before, we ain't done. We've just begun, but huge yep. strides, huge progress. And uh, as I always like to say, let's praise the progress. Keep yeah, rocking. praise progress, baby. So For real, let's do it. What's uh, what's one thing you'd like to leave with our audience as we wrap up? Uh, they may be thinking, you know, I don't know, um, you know, I did coaching before and it didn't work, and or you know, uh, I don't need any motivation, so I don't need a coach, or you know, um, I've uh, I've I've tried lots of different marketing systems and they're all bullshit. I mean, what would you say to someone like that who's watching or listening and they're like? Kind of on the fence and they're they're wondering if it's worthwhile to reach out to us to get more info but they're yeah, still I think you know the something with that is just because i was one of those people too where i was like oh tony robbins like he's kind of a goofball like this or that but at the end of the day i think the my biggest piece of advice i can give is just 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 give yourself to it just just go with it and see what happens and that, you know that's that's what i did like i said i mean i have a fiance who's like super into yoga and i was always just like oh you weird tree people. Like, I don't, I don't need to bother with you, but <laughs> you know, when you do that and you, you, you kind of realize like, it's not all just about, you know, the, the, the money or, or this or that. And you, you really, again, invest in yourself and you do it wholeheartedly. Then it's not just your business that changes. It's, it's everything that changes. 
Um, and again, I, I'm a long way from, from where I want to be and a long way from where I think I, I can be. Um, but it's great to, to think of where I was three months ago <laughs> to now. Absolutely. So, um, so yeah, again, biggest piece of advice is just, just do it. If, if you're having any reservations, you just need to go in with both feet and just do everything that that's, that's asked of you. Amen, brother. Amen. And one thing I would highlight in your story before we wrap up is somewhere along the way, as you said earlier, you burned your boats, you invest in yourself, you made a ballsy decision to invest in yourself at a champion level. You said, screw it, let's do it. And at that very moment, you burned all the boats, you burned all the plan yeah. B's, Terrifying. You, bur you burned all the backup plans, you bur burned all your freaking excuses. And you said, I'm going this direction, whatever it freaking takes, hell or high water, I'm moving this direction. I'm investing in myself. I'm getting the proven plan to get me there. Screw it. Let's freaking do it. And that was the defining moment where everything changed for you. So for those of you listening and watching, don't ever underestimate the power of burning all the boats, burning all the backup plans and having defiant white hot burning resolve to win. When you have that defining moment where you just decide, okay, I'm, I'm done with settling. I'm done with struggling. I'm done with being broke. I'm done with just eking, eking out a meager existence in this business. I know I'm capable of more. I know my family is deserving of more and deserving of better. And it's time to step up. Now's the time. When you made that decision, that's when everything changed for you. Did it mm -hmm. not? Oh, absolutely. And it was, it was horrifying. It was terrifying. <laughs> right? uh, but then, but you don't, you don't leave yourself, a, you know, a, a life or a life vest, you know, mm -hmm. you, you have, you have nothing else. So it's either forward or you're done or go, or go move in with your parents. Like <laughs> that or win or die. there are no yeah. other options. Exactly. And let's be real while there's still higher mountains to climb for you. And certainly for myself as well, Jason, uh, the affirmation isn't I'm not where I want to be because there'll always be an another level. It's I'm continually advancing. I'm continually progressing. I'm continually mm -hmm. climbing. I'm continually taking more ground. And that's precisely where you want to be. That's the mm -hmm. pocket. That's the sweet spot right there. So in fact, indeed, I want to invite you to consider to reframe that affirmation to I'm exactly where I want to be because I'm advancing, I'm taking ground, I'm making progress, I'm in the sweet spot, I'm in the pocket, I'm conquering, I'm exactly where I want to be and I'm going to keep conquering to the day I take my last freaking breath. Love it. You with me on my that? My dog brother? will hear it on our walk every morning like usual. There we go, there we have it. <laughs> it's amazing how just a little reframe like that just takes the, the joy of the moment to a whole other level and when you have more joy in the moment, you have not only joy for the moment to create a new future, but you actually get to continually open up new realms of happiness, joy, contribution, gratitude, and presentness to the blessing of the now. Because we always want to advance to the next level, but no matter how much we stack cash, no matter how much we conquer new ground, no matter how much volume increases, if we don't cultivate the habit of enjoying the now, none of it matters. If you develop the habit of saying there's always that next level and I'm not where I want to be, we'll always be hemorrhaging the joy of the now because we're always feeling like this ain't it. There's always something more. Mm -hmm. So this is more for me as well as for everyone else listening, not necessarily just for you, Jason, that we want to continually build the muscle of not only progressing and advancing, but also savoring the adventure and the savoring pocket, the only pocket to savor life is in the now and enjoying it and enjoying the adventure of it. So I am love that. I love that I've been a part of that with you, Jason. I feel so delighted and excited about where you're at and where you're going. Super proud of you. And I uh, can't wait to see what you're going to be doing next. I know it's going to be awesome. Oh, it's going to be big. It's going to be big. I know it. <laughs> Most definitely. Go big or go home. That's how we roll. So for those of you uh, listening and watching, if you'd like to learn more about what exactly happened for Jason? What was this catalyst? What was the secret sauce? What was this proven plan that made such a meaningful impact in Jason's life in such a short period of time, going from 200 to 300 uh, K a month to a million plus a month with consistency, with power, with effectiveness, with focus, and with a whole new experience of life. What the heck was the difference that made the difference? If you're curious to know what that was, I invite you to check us out with a complimentary breakthrough coaching session with either myself or one of my consultants. 
I invite you to go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com. I'm going to put it on the screen right now so you can see it. Uh, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. You can book a complimentary breakthrough call just like uh, Jason did about three months ago with uh, one of our consultants. And we will lift up the hood on your business. We're going to look at where you're at now. Where do you want to be in the future? What would be a breakthrough for you? And what it's going to take to get you there. So again, go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. It's 100% complimentary, no strings attached. If we can help you, we'll certainly let you know and give you a custom tailored prescription. If we can't help you, then we'll let you know as well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Either way, you're going to leave the call with massive value, massive clarity, and chances are you'll have some fun as well. All right, guys. So thank you for watching, Jason. Thank you for your time, brother. It's been a delight to hang with you on this, uh, this interview. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. All right, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Again, this is Doran Aldana with Jason Cope on the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. For more information or to book a complimentary breakthrough call, go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for watching, guys. Make it a great day. Peace.